Hello, I'm Igor Sashkin, founder of Shopping Card Elite, and today we're going to talk about how Shopping Card Elite will help you grow your online business while working together with your ERP system. So, Shopping Card Elite is a, a full e-commerce solution uh, that your marketing team is going to completely drool over. It's um, uh, unlike Magento Enterprise, uh, it, it basically has the same uh, functionality as a shopping card, but you don't need a second party to implement it. Uh, you don't need a third party to do your connector and connect your ERP with it. You don't need a fourth party for technical support and fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth party to bring in apps that your marketing team would need for e-commerce to do their job. So Shopping Card Lead is basically uh, a one full solution that works uh, uh, with your ERP system and does all the e-commerce along with all the e-commerce uh, marketing tools that you would need uh, in one system. So before we jump into all the features that Shopping Carlead has. I'm gonna just talk about the distinct features, what makes Shopping Carlead different from uh, some of the competitors out there. So first, uh, we have uh, something we call cloud templates, which allows us to make a completely custom website uh, to fit your brand. And uh, once we build a custom website for you, what happens is whenever we roll out new upgrades in the future, uh, it could break uh, because uh, you have custom uh, CSS and HTML, and um, uh, whenever we roll out a new feature, it could conflict with it. So what cloud templates do is they allow us to keep our uh, classes separate from your custom classes, and that allows us to make a really beautiful custom website that works both on the desktop as well as uh, a mobile device and uh, ensure that you get the proper upgrades in a year and in five years without breaking the customizations we made for you. So to give you just a few examples on uh, the designs, uh, this is uh, uh, a client that sells uh, uh, lab tests and uh, uh, I'm gonna just jump between the desktop version and the mobile version. So this is the uh, category page uh, of the website. And let me go into the mobile version side of it. So this is the category page in the mobile device. And uh, if we're gonna, let's say, jump to one of the tests, for example, we'll click on men's health on the desktop version. And then we're gonna click on men's health on the mobile version. Uh, what we created here is we basically uh, made the features to be exactly the same between uh, the desktop and the mobile. So a lot of times the mobile version will lack features that the desktop doesn't have. In our case, they both will have the same versions and we keep uh, both the desktop and the mobile uh, upkept and upgraded for you using those cloud templates that I was talking about. Uh, you can add very rich content to your product pages. So you could have, uh, 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 for example, uh, we can have a video here along with uh, different images. And if we go to the desktop version and uh, click on the same thing, you'll see that the templates look different, but uh, the rich content remains the same. And you can choose which content shows up in mobile versus uh, a desktop in case you want to uh, change the, uh, you know, what, what kind of sliders show up on a mobile device versus what kind of sliders show up on a desktop side of it. So again, there is no limits to how custom we can get your website. Uh, it could be uh, anything you imagine, really, because we've never had any kind of limitations on the cloud templates. So this uh, website here is um, uh, like a beauty site and, um, and just go back here. And one of the things I wanted to point out is we do have a very good uh, search uh, system that uh, will autofill, you know, predicted uh, uh, keywords once you start typing it in. It has uh, sort filters on the side that could be easily customizable across your different products, and uh, it could be you know quickly set up. Uh, this is another uh, website. Again, you can see we can do a very clean look you know, where it's uh, white and white with some color elements. Uh, this particular website has, uh, uh, they sell wallpaper, so this is what their homepage looks like. And uh, this one here is with auto parts. We can do custom lookups uh, on, uh, you know, the homepage as well as the search results to shop by uh, vehicle, 
uh, top brands. Uh, what you'll find with Shopping Cart Elite is uh, we specialize in enterprise e-commerce for small to mid-sized businesses, usually uh, anywhere between one to twenty million dollars in revenue, uh, specifically in e-commerce revenue, not as the whole company. And uh, over the years, between all of our clients, uh, they pretty much threw everything they can at us uh, as far as what kind of features they want to see. So most likely, if you're going to come to us asking for a specific custom feature uh, that you want on your e-commerce website, we'll probably have it available out of the box. And it could be anything from uh, very uh, custom groupings for products such as bundling or combos, very complex discount codes such as buy X, get X free, and uh, quantity discounts. Um, anything from even on the B2B side, we could personalize the experience for each different customer. So for example, if a customer um, logs in to uh, uh, using their credentials, you could actually create uh, a custom theme to turn on uh, for his website for his specific session. And then um, you could also limit what products he sees. So uh, pretty much whatever, uh, let's say Magento can bring to the table, and most likely through customizations, like really heavy customizations, uh, we pretty much have that out of the box. And the problem with uh, uh, Magento, which is open source, versus going with someone like us, is once a feature is custom developed, you are pretty much, you own that open source product and you have to upkeep future upgrades yourself. In other words, if you want more cool features that the new version of an open source has, and you don't, you can't just easily upgrade it because you, you touch the core and you customize it. Comparing that with Shopping Cart Elite, uh, if uh, we do touch the core because we introduce a new feature either for you or for some other client, um, we upkeep that customization, which means future upgrades will automatically roll out while the old feature is still in place. And that ultimately saves you money as well as uh, gives you a faster time to market uh, with, with new features. Jumping to kind of a high-level overview of Shopping Cart Elite, uh, if you go to the shoppingcurly.com website and click on features, you'll see that there is a lot of different components that you will need for e-commerce. Uh, even though uh, you'll find it says like ERP and warehouse, uh, those are the two pieces that uh, they're very basic inside Shopping Cart Elite, but on the core level, on the database level, they are, they are very sophisticated. And uh, at one point, when we, we were building Shopping Cart Elite, we were going to develop um, the, e, you know, the ERP side, like the warehouse management and the financials. But then uh, we were at a, a point where we had to make a decision, do we continue developing marketing features, or are we going to get into the ERP side? And we basically said that let's um, uh, you know, put a line where we're going to stop development uh, on the ERP side, and that line was basically warehouse management and financials, and we work with partners to accommodate for that. So in other case, uh, you know, we work with, for example, with Acumatica, uh, which handles warehouse management as well as financials, and uh, that's how the partnership is created between the ERP and us. Uh, and because um, the system is very sophisticated on the front end, and we did introduce the database tables in the back end to support advanced ERP, uh, enterprise ERP, uh, we are able to have a native connection, almost like as if it's part of the product. So in other words, when you look at Acumatica and Shopping Cart Elite, it actually becomes like an extension of an Acumatica product as if it was natively built by Acumatica because of such a strong um, database relationship. But uh, besides the ERP side, so the e-commerce side, uh, we have a, a very good um, uh, SEO system. So the way our SEO features work is uh, we do meet uh, all Google Webmaster guidelines. Uh, you could uh, hire a third-party SEO company to audit your website after you uh, went live with it and you know, did your meta tags and so on through our system, and you'll find that it, it's going to be fully compliant with what they're looking for, what, with Google, what, what Google is looking for. And um, if you read some of the SEO features, there's actually uh, a lot that um, are automated SEO. So for example, one of them is visitor-generated SEO. Customer, uh, visitor comes to your website, they uh, search for a keyword, 
a keyword that you don't really target, but it is producing relevant search results. Uh, for example, it could be, you know, for, for personal labs that I was just on, uh, they, somebody could type in, uh, you know, blood tests for, uh, you know, a woman, and that particular keyword term is not targeted by you, but it is producing relevant results. So what we'll do with that result is we'll actually create a, a static page out of it, index it in your sitemap and submit it to Google for you. Or, or, uh, and what we are doing is we're kind of crowdsourcing the uh, keyword terms from your visitors and making pages for Google so other people who might, who might type that word will find your page in Google. Uh, somebody leaves you a review, for example, uh, we're going to create a page um, uh, static for that product and reviews only with a title, you know, product A reviews, which will allow, um, uh, you know, people who are looking for a review for the product in Google will find you. So there is a lot of tools like that, which we call SEO automation, but you'll also find that uh, uh, everything from page speed, like um, if you check uh, Google's, uh, I, I believe, um, uh, like they have this uh, tool which uh, checks to see if you need optimi to optimize your pages. We have a 100% score of unusability with the mobile version. Uh, you know, the websites are considered to be, uh, I believe last time we did a benchmark, uh, our load time was faster than like yahoo.com or amazon.com. So speed-wise, SEO-wise, you'll be as compliant as you can be uh, for e-commerce. Marketplaces is a big one. A lot of times, uh, you know, you have uh, inventory, you want to go to uh, eBay, Amazon, Google Shopping, and then there's other channels such as Newegg and Rakuten and Sears. And, and the challenge there is how do you keep your inventory in sync between all of them, as well as uh, possibly your POS if you have a store uh, with uh, your uh, backend ERP for, you know, uh, phone sales and so on. So what uh, Shopping Khalid brings to the table is, besides being a you know, beautiful, feature-rich website that uh, could look like anything you want and have any feature you pretty much want, uh, it also replaces companies uh, that do marketplace management for eBay and Amazon and so on, and it will actually uh, be built into, sh it's built into Shopping Khalid, and it, um, uh, it's going to sync up with your inventory from your ERP side. So you could actually uh, push your latest inventory across all channels using Shopping Khalid's Essential Hub. I'm gonna just quickly jump into um, the UI of Shopping Khalid for marketplace management just so you could see how it's set up. So first what you're looking at right now is um, uh, Shopping Khalid is a desktop app, but it's not uh, like a, a uh, like your traditional desktop app, it's, it's actually a hybrid. It's a Windows app, but you have to be connected to the internet in order to use it. So we connect to it uh, through an API and all the data is rendered in the cloud and saved in the cloud. So basically, instead of using a browser, you're using a desktop app. Uh, one of the main reasons why we decided to take that route, at least when we started building it in 2007, uh, you know, we didn't really have a lot of options, but uh, when we look at our uh, products, uh, like our analytics products, which has a lot of data uh, you know, coming in, especially if you have a heavy traffic website, and then you wanna play around with that data by rendering different segments and, and looking at charts uh, differently. It, so it has to render uh, somewhere. Uh, it is possible for it to render on, you know, in the cloud, but it's very heavy resource when we do it in the cloud. We uh, decided to leverage the, you know, harness your CPU power by bringing raw data as binary data into uh, the desktop app and then allowing your computer to render it, which means if, uh, you, know, if you have a light store uh, and you don't need a lot of it, uh, a lot of rendering, then you would simply uh, you know, just, just use it like it, it wouldn't matter if it's a browser or desktop. And uh, if you are a heavy store, uh, then you would actually need maybe a, a more powerful computer to render big data. Uh, but in our case, because we don't care, because raw data is raw data and you can render it however you need to, we can keep price to be competitive in the marketplace. Uh, so you know, regardless if you're small or big, it doesn't matter for us because the, the data is rendered on your computer. 
but uh, uh, going back to Marketplace, uh, it's super easy to set it up. You would, uh, once you have your data inside Shopping Cart Elite, uh, which is the central you know, catalog where you would manage your data, uh, if your uh, central catalog is, let's say, in your ERP system, most likely the ERP system doesn't have the, the rich components of the data, such as meta tags, like the e-commerce parts. Uh, it possibly can have it. Uh, I know with Acumatica, uh, you, you have a tab there with e-commerce, and you can actually add the custom fields there. But it probably would make sense for specifically the rich data that we need, require for e-commerce. You possibly could manage it inside Shopping Cart Elite and then sync it back up to your ERP uh, on the Acumatica side if needed. You might, you might not even need it because on the ERP side, you really just need a description and a part number and you know and whatever other elements you need for operations, but you don't need it for the e-commerce side. Uh, but in any case, once you've loaded your data inside Shopping Cart Elite, then uh, you don't have to do anything with it ever again. You can push to marketplaces uh, very quickly just by going, you know, uh, choosing, let's say, eBay, and um, uh, you're going to fill out the uh, the template that you need to fill out. Uh, with all the settings and how you want to sync it up and press submit and it's done. And it's the same thing with Google Shopping, eBay, Amazon, every marketplace we support, both the uh, comparison marketplace as well as true marketplace, uh, can be synced up uh, very easily. The other parts is um, uh, the marketing automation. Uh, specifically, we're talking about email marketing, the CRM system, and uh, our predictive analytics. So those three kind of work together. Um, uh, let's say it starts with, uh, let's just use an example. Uh, an order comes in and uh, from a marketplace or from a website, either or. It goes into the CRM system. It could sync up to your ERP CRM system as well. And then you might say, you know what? I want to try to upsell him another product three days later. And you can set up a rule triggering the email marketing side against that particular contact. Uh, you might sell a product that requires the core to be returned or... Uh, some kind of a follow-up on a warranty or something like that. So you could say when that product is purchased, create a ticket inside the support desk uh, so you can follow up on it later. Uh, the way pr the predictive analytics works is it actually scores the um, uh, prospect or visitor or uh, customer to see how likely they will uh, you know, become a customer, or how likely they will return, or how, how, you know, what exactly they did, and, and ultimately that score is preserved under the CRM side. And the reason why that's important, because using that type of segmentation with that score, you can then trigger different kind of email marketing campaigns to nurture to leads. So you could have a personal follow-up every three months set up by saying, hey, how's your product that you placed an order for? Is there anything I can do for you? And so on. So that's where the marketing automation comes in. Just to kind of give you a quick uh, uh, view of what the account looks like, it's a very rich uh, CRM system. Uh, we uh, save uh, like the company and the contact separate from each other. So you could have multiple contacts in a company, just like what you would have with a regular CRM system. Under the communication tab, this is what's different about shopping card lead and like a traditional CRM system. Uh, we are able to track what we call touch points, or some people call them contact points, uh, of your customer's um, interaction with your brand outside of uh, you, you know, the traditional, you know, they emailed you or they called you. So we can put pixels all over the place. We could put it, obviously, they're all automatically on your website and embedded in your email. But you can also start bringing in information from like a third-party live chat, uh, your voice over IP, such as RingCentral or Skype. It could come from uh, Wistia to see what they watched, you know, what videos they watched. And ultimately, you can uh, bring in every possible interaction from your customer into Shopping Cart Elite as a touch point those touch points do sync up to your ERP, with, specifically with Acumatica. So if you are using Acumatica CRM, you'll be able to uh, have the same touch point data in your Acumatica CRM system as well as in Shopping Cart Elite. And really, this becomes uh, you know, a marketing automation system because using this data, again, customer calls you up, 
you, you pull him up on the screen and you can see everything he did. You can even see where he's at right now on your website and what product he was looking at. So you don't have to ask him, where are you on the website or what were you looking at? You could see the lifetime value of that customer uh, based on historic data that, uh, you know, how many orders they purchased uh, from you and so on. So our system will preserve email conversations, uh, opportunities inside tickets, uh, phone calls, order responders, login history. Um, and, and again, third-party touch points uh, such as live chats and so on will be preserved in here. Uh, it has a shopping cart. This shopping cart is basically in sync with your website's shopping cart. And what's really cool about it, this one is you could create a quote. Uh, the quote will have an automatic login to, uh, which will be emailed to the customer and they don't have to even register. They just click on the automatic login and they get to see the quote and they can just buy it right from the quote. Uh, the quote can get custom discounts. Uh, customers can actually go on your website and put items into their uh, quote list to get quoted. If, that, if you're doing B2B, that, that would be very useful. You can create uh, order ship and if you're selling, let's say, some kind of supplements and you want to uh, offer clients a way to subscribe and save like Amazon does, uh, that's built in out of the box. Uh, uh, the wish list is built out of the box. So again, it, it's, it's very sophisticated when it comes to that. Uh, and by the way, when a quote is created, you can actually make an opportunity out of it in the CRM system. You can schedule automatic follow-ups on that quote. And when it converts, it actually is marked as converted. So it has a, like a really full quoting system built into Shopping Cart Elite. And again, working with your ERP system. On the financial side, it could handle uh, pretty much any credit card, gateway, uh, PayPal, Amazon checkout. We can do net terms. Uh, which again could be in sync with your ERP side. Uh, for uh, the wholesale tab, if you're B2B, you could uh, set up different wholesale levels for the products that those customers will get. Those wholesale levels can get overwritten on individual items if needed. Uh, both the level as well as the overrides can be driven from your ERP side. Uh, specifically, if we're working with uh, Acumatica, um, those are in sync out of the box on the, on the connector. So your uh, custom levels with your customers will be in sync with our custom levels in Shopping Cart Elite. And when your customer logs in through the website, they'll just automatically see their price that's uh, set up in Acumatica. So this is just kind of a, a high level overview. There's a lot more uh, things that we can go deeper on the customer side, such as uh, uh, you know, we can qualify people like show me all the customers who went cold. Uh, cold, warm, and hot are automatically driven by the lead scoring. So if, we, if they were a customer and then all of a sudden there's no more interaction between your brand and them, um, they go cold and you can set up an autoresponder to try to recover them. Now, predictive analytics uh, is uh, uh, the, the actual company name that's our uh, company, our other company that's uh, built into Shopping Cart Lead. It's called T Software. Uh, let me go to the website. And uh, what T Software does is uh, it could do two things. Well, three actually. It could eliminate click fraud from your advertising campaign. It could tell you uh, where your most qualified traffic is coming from. So you can actually redirect the budget to the qualified and, and remove it from the non-qualified. And it could troubleshoot your uh, sales funnel. If you've never went past a million dollars in e-commerce sales, and even if you did, you, it, this is still very good information. Um, we have uh, very good videos about how T and Shopping Car Lead work together to grow your company to you know, 10, 20, 100 million dollars in e-commerce sales. And you can find those videos if you go to shoppingcarlead.com, click on marketing, and then click on uh, the part that call, that's called marketing advisory. So there's two things. Uh, before I jump into the predictive analytics, I want to just explain what you're going to be looking at. Uh, there is a new metric that we discovered. We call it engagement to sales ratio that we use to predict future sales as well as optimize your marketing campaigns. And this could be anything from uh, pay-per-click campaigns to email marketing to social media. I mean, even offline marketing could be used uh, with that. And the uh, engagement to sales ratio, so engagement is basically like intent, like a visitor shows intent that they want to be your customer or they are interested in your product. And uh, the way we measure 
using the, the T software, we're able to segment people who are real versus fake. And then we put what we call KPIs, key performance indicators, throughout the website, but that when the mouse moves over them, it gives them a lead score or, or a score for that particular prospect. And that's how we build out the engagement. And the way the engagement to sales ratio work is it's actually a very stable number where, for example, if you get 10 excellent engagements and one sale occurs, you can actually predict that that's the trend you're going to continue seeing. So for every 10 engagements, you make one sale. And this particular video explains the importance of that because you can actually measure results in real time. You don't have to wait a month to see what the results are. And it talks about all the different types of other ways that people measure results which, and, and why they fail and why the engagement to sales ratio should be the only metric you should be using for e-commerce uh, performance on your marketing campaigns. And it talks about this funnel. Uh, I'm not going to get into this video because it's, it's kind of already touching the marketing side of shopping car lead, but I just wanted you to understand the importance of that piece because you know, if you don't do this, it's most likely the case that your e-commerce will not be very successful or uh, your ROI is not going to be what you would expect it to be. On the second video, we talk about shopping car lead and we talk about um, how T and shopping lead work together. So just because you have analytics and you know what's going on doesn't mean you're, you solve the problem. The next problem is will your shopping cart uh, you know, give you the ability to get what you want uh, as far as get the person from A to Z. Uh, and a lot of times the limitations that, it, that your shopping cart has just, you know, even though you know there's a problem, you can't do anything about it because your shopping cart doesn't support a feature or you can't do something or it requires a major customization. Sometimes, um, uh, you know, you enhance something and you break something else and you don't even know it, but you just created a huge, op you know, conversion problem for yourself by fixing another conversion problem. Ultimately, this is what the two videos cover. And going back to shopping cart analytics, uh, it does two things. So we can optimize your uh, traffic such as the marketing campaigns. But additionally, once the traffic enters your website, uh, we could also see if you have a conversion problem. So what you're looking at on the screen right now, I'm going to click on Overview. And you could see that you know, it's something similar to Google Analytics. But the problem with Google Analytics, besides you know, that it's a very uh, basic for beginners type of analytics system, and uh, even though um, a lot of professionals use it for making their deci you know, decisions on what to do with marketing, it just does not have enough data to make very good decisions. So the decisions are probably a mix of logic and gut feeling versus just logic. Uh, what you're looking here is a separation of real traffic, uh, suspicious, and fake. And the reason why I mentioned just now is gut feeling decisions on Google Analytics is because uh, if you're making a decision based on fake traffic, why do you care about fake traffic? You should only make decisions based on excellent traffic. And since Google Analytics doesn't segment those, uh, those are mixed together. And if you have like a surge of some very bad traffic coming your way organically, for example, you're going to make poor decisions. But what you're looking at here is um, what we call red flags. Uh, this is where you might have problems in the, your conversions. This is ultimately uh, people dropping out of a, of a certain part of your website. A lot of times, um, there's a lot of emphasis on abandoned checkout. But if you have 1,000 visitors, for example, and you have you know, 50 that abandon the checkout, yes, it's important to see what's going on. But what happened to, let's say, the other 500 that abandoned the other pages that you haven't measured, such as search results or product page or, or the actual cart or the registration page? So what, what we're seeing here is uh, why people are leaving. And if you're curious to troubleshoot those issues, what happens is you double click on this segment. Th this is the segment of people in that segment that we are trying to analyze. And if you uh, double click on them and you uh, want to see a heat map, so you see that there were 16 actions here. And if you uh, say, I want to see a screenshot, it's going to take about 20 seconds to render because it has to go take a screenshot on the website and then take those actions and map them against it. You'll be able to actually see uh, what they did and try to come up with a reason why they did it and why they didn't take the action you wanted them to take. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, this is how you would troubleshoot your conversion problem. 
and uh, we do offer um, you know marketing advisory service. Uh, it, it could either be through us or through a partner, and uh, we could even troubleshoot these issues for you. So a lot of times you go live, uh, you change your website, you're super excited to see if it's going to improve sales, and next thing you know, it drops in sales, and you don't know what's going on. And uh, really what happened is your old website had years and years of optimization or just and you, you maybe got lucky and it just got optimized really well to begin with. And the new website, even though it's much better, there's some element that's missing that's causing the conversion drop. And we can quickly troubleshoot it with this tool. So again, in this screenshot, uh, this one rendered not too well, but you could see that, uh, uh, you know, you could see how the mouse moved and where they engaged and uh, ultimately, you know, what they did uh, on that page. So uh, this is sort of like the distinct features of Shopping Curly. There's a ton more. You could check it out on shoppingcurly.com. Uh, we kind of just touched the surface on what it can do, but pretty much if it's e-commerce and you want something very custom and you want to have all the marketing tools that your marketing team needs, uh, this is what we can deliver. Uh, the last thing that I want to say is, uh, um, as far as setup, so we do uh, have systems in place, either through us or through a partner, uh, where we could fully do everything from A to Z, from setting up your website, to migrating it, to launching it, to helping you on the marketing advisory side, and ultimately taking your company you know, to whatever levels you're looking for. And uh, you don't have to go to a bunch of different external sources to try to make them work together to figure out how to get your e-commerce to where you need it to be. It's all uh, it could all be handled uh, through our company, and again, if we need to get partners involved, uh, they would be working alongside of us. On the Acumatica side, the uh, connection that we have, uh, we do have it on the website. I believe it's uh, shoppingcarly.com forward slash Acumatica PDF, and you can see the type of connection we have. So the connection we have with Acumatica, it's probably our most sophisticated one we've built so far. Main reason why is because we've never had the ability to go on the Acumatica side or, or the ERP side to allow the ERP to ping us. Usually the way the connectors work is we always have to ping them or there has to be some kind of a manual action or manual button triggered on the ERP side to trigger the sync so it's not real time. And doing calls every few seconds is not realistic for you know, uh, doing it for a lot of clients. So the difference that we have in the Acumatica connector is we have a way to ping from Shopping Car Lead into Acumatica. And if Acumatica makes any changes, we have a way from Acumatica to be ping Shopping Car Lead and trigger this in real time. So inventory changes, new orders, customers, cancellations, tracking numbers, and so on can actually happen you know, within a second between Acumatica and Shopping Car Lead. And uh, the... Uh, uh, in this particular brochure, you can see the type of connections we have today out of the box. And you will also, uh, if you need some custom connections made for components, you will add on top of Acumatica. Or uh, if something needs to be enhanced on the Acumatica connector that you specifically need very custom for your company, uh, that's something that we do also in-house. So there's no need to go to a third party to try to make that connector work and then upkeep it and pay for maintenance on it, it's all done in-house. So you ultimately end up with a full e-commerce solution um, that can help you with the marketing side, it's gonna help you set up your Acumatica connector, and um, it's gonna just work really well. So check us out, and uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.